What's up and welcome back to Naptime Builder. Today is, well, this video is probably going to be a collage of a lot of different things. Right now I'm headed to look at a 72 Ford F100. I actually already own one, but mine don't have a motor and transmission and this one does. So, let's see what that looks like. And here we are at my buddy's shop. This is the 72. Bag it out now. There we go. Nice patina. That's just awesome. Cleaned up and some patina sauce. That'll look good. She's definitely a little bit better than my 72 that I already have. In some areas. Surely between the two, I can make a decent truck. The inside looks like. My dash pad's in great shape. Strong smell old gas. And I wonder why. Need a gas tank. Door shuts nice. Factor three oh two. Power brakes, but manual steering. Good candidate for a Crown Vic swap. Not terrible at all. Definitely seen a lot worse. All right, all right, well, no surprise. I bought the truck. We got it moved over to their, our property where we're building at. So it's there. Probably not going to do anything on the 64 F350 this video because I'm still waiting on some parts. Um, them, that back ordered sending unit is getting me right now. But uh, about to have to knock out an oil change on the wise van. I mean, that's the only thing. I, I love the older stuff, but these newer things, we gotta gotta keep them going too, so. Especially the wives. It hauls the kids around more than anything else around here, so. Let's knock that out, and then, uh, I'm sure I got a few other things that just have to be done. I need to put up a mailbox at the new, at the new place, so. Let's see. Before we get started on that oil change, check this out. So, tell me you bought too long of bolts without telling me you bought too long of bolts. And mugs, a couple inches too long, got her hanging down. And tell me you don't trust it without telling me. <laughs> Gotta have a backup. She is. And just like that, there's a new one. No ring. No ring. Right back there. There we go, that's better.
And pour a little oil everywhere. That's fine. You know, no biggie. I don't always use a pick or nothing like that. Most of the time I just use like a flathead screwdriver or something, but this was close by, so why not? Move that up a little bit with some of that old oil. Stick her back in. And I mean, really, is any oil change really complete without the oh so satisfying scene of pouring the oil back in the pouring oil back in the engine? I mean. I, I don't know of one. I don't know of one. And if you don't show it, did you really ever even change the oil? I mean, just look at it. That definitely looks better than the oil that came out of it. All right, well, wife's oil change is done anyways. What's next? What's next? I really need to put up that new mailbox. But I don't have time to go put up the new mailbox before my little man gets out of school and I have to pick him up today. So. There's no point in me doing it after getting him on the way home. Because by the time I get done, I'll be trying to pick up my baby girl. And that is a pawpaws. So, we might just wait until we go pick her up. And I'll run over and do it then. I'll say this like it's going to be real fast. My luck, something will go wrong. Stay tuned to find out. And like I said, here we are. I'm about to do a mailbox. Got all my junk ready. I'm about to start after doing some weed eating. Let's get this done. Alright, well, I got my dog, my hole dug. It's been a while since I used some post hole diggers, okay? And now I'm here, stealing some water from my dad over here. And I gotta truck it across his property. Oh, what am I? Just because I didn't want to throw it, put it in the back of the van, hit a bump, spill water all over the van. So, yeah, no. Wear myself out here. All right, well, so I decided to turn the time lapse off because ended up 
having people stop by and, you know, it's a little awkward sometimes when other people stop by when the video is going or whatever. So, and some people just don't like being on video and I understand that too. So I'm still trying to get used to it. So anyways, got the mailbox up. There she is, boy, it looks a whole lot taller than my neighbors over there, but I did measure but I did measure it and it is between the parameters of 41 to 46 inches. Okay, so we're good. The base of it's like 41, we're good. It just, it made me second guess it took with it being that much taller than his. All right, so uh, that's, that's what else I was wanting to get done today. Bought a truck, got it delivered, Change the wife's oil and filter in the van and the grocery toter and got the new mailbox up at the new place. Did here today that Monday, today's Friday, Monday, they're going to start doing some framing for the concrete slab and my dirt guy's coming to start on my pad for the, uh, for my shop. So awesome news. Awesome news. We're making progress, even though sometimes it's not as fast as we would like. Mm, excuse me, than we would like to, but progress is still progress. So, and that's the end of today's random, all over the place, buy a car, change some oil, get something done at the new property that needs to be done. Uh, it does stink that not all things that you have to do are always things that you want to do, like work on the cars, make them cooler, whatever, get them going. You know, you got to do life things too. Put up a new bell box. Uh, take care of the wife's vehicle too. I mean, you can't only care about your seven vehicles. You got to worry about her one too, you know? So, but uh, thanks for watching Naptime Builder. Really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for the 72 subscribers. Y'all keep watching, sharing, subscribing. See y'all later.